Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a great and wonderful day. There's not going to be a lot of videos here because, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of news to talk about. So, what we're going to be going over here is specifically over the, uh, well, the lies that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, specifically the Democrats, are always spewing because, you know, that's what they do. They have to lie and try to put fear-mongering in order to make sure that you say the toe of the line of, you know, their people. And here's one thing that we have here from Joe Biden. See, what you see here is that you see Joe Biden, a vote for Trump is a vote for national abortion ban. Yeah, and that is not true. He said he was going to leave it up to the states. He has mentioned that he was going to leave it up to the states and said he would never actually put a national abortion ban. And then we also have Kamala Harris saying, pretty much mimicking and saying the same thing. He says, if Donald Trump gets the chance, he will sign a national abortion ban that would criminalize abortion in every single state. We are not going to let that happen. When Congress passes a law that restores the protections of Roe, the President Joe Biden will sign into a law. Well, this is the thing. It's all up to the states. It's all up to uh, what, uh, you know, what does the states decide. And again, if you're going to go to California, don't worry. You can abort your baby almost up to birth. If you go to Colorado, you can abort your baby pretty much until birth and all these other places. So if you are a female that has no morals, that, has, uh, that doesn't care about your child and you uh, want to kill them and you want to feel glad about it, then going to California, Colorado, or any liberal state in New York, and you will be able to have that abortion if you so see fit. But people that have morals, people that have the ability to think that children um, should not be killed, um, well, then by all means, please go and go into those red states uh, where, you know, maybe abortion is not so much of a thing that should be needed. We have this here, of course, from the Trump war room saying, whichever intern is tweeting from Crooked Joe's account while he's in the red generation chamber is an idiot. President Trump said he would not sign a national abortion ban. And this is what we have here. So without further ado, take a look at this. To put it simply, it's now up to the states. And like Ronald Reagan, I'm a believer in the exceptions, the three exceptions, as you know, and uh, rape, incest, life of the mother, uh, the danger for the life of the mother. And we have uh, a situation now where it's in the state's hands and the states are going to be uh, voting. The last thing people want, the people are going to be voting. The last thing people want is for that to go back into the federal government. It was always fought and very importantly, and people wanted it, they wanted it back in the states where it belongs legally and for a lot of other reasons. So you wouldn't support a national ban? No, I wouldn't support a national ban. No, I would not. Yeah, so there you have it. You have it constantly where they're lying over and over again and what have you. I'll probably do about maybe a minute of uh, my actual uh, stance and I'll probably do a full video about it. But the reality is, is that with my stance on abortion is pretty cut and dry. If you are raped, if you are obviously, if you are, um, had a, been a victim of incest, especially incest, um, you can go and get a said abortion, etc. because obviously... I can see, understand the trauma of it all, uh, and it, and of course the life of the mother. But again, the, life, it, the problem that I have with the life of the mother situation is is that it's the it's called an atopic pregnancy, like majority of the time, and that's not considered an abortion. So that's the reason why I don't really garner the three reasons because there is not really a third reason because atopic pregnancy is not considered an abortion. So I, I don't know what that is but even still like even if you don't have a talk of pregnancy then i guess we could put in the reason where uh yeah the life of the mother but uh, outside of that there is no reason it's because women want to be held unaccountable for the actions that they commit they also don't want to be able to held accountable for the numerous amount of uh well contraceptives that they have um and Therefore, and I'm not saying the guy doesn't have any more responsibility either, but the only thing that this guy has is a condom and a vasectomy, which completely sterilizes him. So honestly, um, I would say the majority of the responsibility is on the female because she knows her ovulation cycle. She knows when uh, she has uh, the IUDs and all this other stuff uh, that you could actually take or do that prevents this stuff. You just need to be responsible. And I don't think when women abort their children, it has any remote, have, have, it have very, very low morality. And it is what it is. But 
that's enough of that. I will make an actual video about this uh, later on, probably this week, if not next week. So, yeah. But as I said, guys, this is just another reason why Democrats lie and they're already trying to push a narrative when it's just not the truth. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's guys share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.